hello everyone so we are starting with the mobile application how does it work what is the workflow of this mobile application once you log into the mobile application the collection protocol screen will appear by clicking on the search option you can select or search the cp that you want to check once you click on the collection protocol you will get reverted to the participant list view page here is the list of the participants that are already existed uh, so by clicking on this plus sign on the right hand side end you can add the participant here, here you are the fields are added as per the client requirement the participant id registration date and site etc these fields can be modified and changed as per your requirement I'll show you the current participant. So as you can see here, the there is a participant ID two two zero dash zero 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 one. You can edit the data entry once you're done. After clicking on the uh, the red icon that you can see in the right hand end. So whatever you want to edit, you can edit here and just click on the save. After the participant overview, we moving to the visits. Just swipe right so that you can uh, go to the visit tab. Here also, uh, you can click on the plus sign and uh, do data entry for the visit fields. Uh, again, the fields are uh, can be modified as per your requirements. And uh, I'll show you one of the uh, existing visit here that is booking zero one. So. This visit has occurred on the December 21st, 2019. The sample origin is of my mother. So, after the visit, the specimens comes into the picture. How to collect the specimens? Just swipe right and uh, here you can see the specimens. These are the existing specimens data entry that are already done. You can click on the plus sign and just enter the data of specimens and just click on the save so that uh, the specimen collection will be get done here remember that you have to click on the visit and then you have to swipe right to click uh, to make the specimen co collection otherwise uh, you can only view specimens not add or edit them so inside the specimens once you collect this primary specimens just swipe right and you can see the aliquots the child specimens so here also similarly you can click on the plus sign and do the data entry and just click on the save and data will get saved so coming back to this page uh, on this page there is one more specimens page on the right hand side here you can see all the specimen list across all the visits you cannot add or edit specimens here if you want to add an edit you have to just go inside the visit and then here the specimens so this all fields are as per the client requirement this can be modified whichever field you want to add in this uh, on in the screens on this participants visit specimens and the child specimen pages that is possible 